What's up guys? Today I'm gonna go ahead and go over this clutch with you guys. This is clutch number three of 2020 breeding season. This is the clutch that had us scratching our heads, really figuring out who sired this clutch. And it's, uh, I asked my buddy about it and we did some research and it's most likely my error for maybe not uh, putting it down. But um, I'll go ahead and go over the details um, once I start showing you guys uh, one at a time what the genes and the combos are, are we ha what we have here. Also, what I'll do is I'll show you guys the sire to the clutch. So that way you guys can kind of get an idea of um, what I'm talking about as far as the genetics are concerned. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video going and dive into these genetics. Okay, so this is the sire to this clutch. Um, this is an act like super or... Um, ALS, they're an allelic combo. And what had me confused was I didn't get any bananas. Uh, and typically when this guy produces, we have tons of bananas. And so with this particular clutch, no bananas. So I figured, oh, this is this can't be the dad. And I looked at the records. Uh, I didn't even uh, have him down written on any of my records of being with her but I may have introduced him to her to just kind of get her started because this guy is a stud male and it, it, it's if I had a clutch with him, I didn't mind because I really like, I like this guy and I've had him for so many years. He's produced so many clutches here. Um, but this is a pastel banana siren or siren is a lily combo of cinnamon and Huffman. So what that means is I cannot produce anything else other than at the minimum, Huffman or Siren. So the clutch that we have uh, is either a base morph Cinnamon or base morph Huffman. And then every other gene is just a, a random probability of hitting it. Well, not necessarily random, but the odds, the probability odds, percentages. Um, but that's the good thing about uh, using uh, an act like super or a super form is that you know exactly where you're going to get uh, when you do produce uh, babies from them. So yeah, this is the male and he is, he's produced so many beautiful animals for me in the past. And so, and he keeps going. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the babies, his babies with the edgy female. Uh, and uh, we can go from there. Okay. So the first one is uh, a Huffman. Now, when I was doing the egg cutting video, I did refer that this particular baby looked like a Huffman. And originally I was pairing this, this female and I thought I sold, was solely pairing this female to the crystal male, which that means it's also an Alili combo, which means I would only get specials and Mojaves. And this doesn't look like a typical special, uh, but specials sometimes come in different variety, um, but they do. Um, they have some similarities, but they look different. And from, because I didn't know that another male was siren a clutch, I automatically thought it's a special, but looking back at the, the, this, this particular, um, snake, it's, a, it's definitely a Huffman, the way, uh, these alien heads are kind of, uh, warped. Uh, that's really, uh, a Huffman trait, uh, I've had many Huffmans in uh, in my collection and uh, that's why I referred to this, to this one looking like a, a Huffman combo. Also, one of the things that um, we've uh, figured out or concluded that these were sired by that male that I just showed you is because the entire clutch are all females. Now, if you guys are familiar with the banana gene, the sex linked uh, uh, issue with the banana gene my male is a male maker so what that means is all bananas that he produces are going to be male and all the non-bananas he produces will be females and my luck all these are non-bananas and they are all females so that's one of the reasons why we figured out okay that's the only way we can have pewters and uh 
and Huffman's in, in this combo is because he really signed a clutch and they're all females. So that confirms our theory even more. Now the next one, this is actually the last one to shed is this pastel Huffman. You can see the, the pattern is very similar, kind of like the scary movie uh, mask, right? Halloween mask, um, ghost face, right? So this is a pastel Huffman and I've produced many pastel Huffmans and that's what this uh, reminded me of when I first saw it. So um, just a little bit of digging and I was able to kind of really confirm that yes, these are sired by that banana pastel siren that we have so this girl is is pretty and uh she's just gonna get a little brighter color is gonna come out more as uh, she gets a few me meals in and maybe a couple more sheds so huffman is a great combo to work with not many people are working with them um great combos now the third one this one so I'm gonna put this one down here just so that you guys can kind of see. This one is a pastel Enchi Huffman. So it's got a busy pattern as well. Now typically pastel Enchis are reduced in pattern, but Huffmans tend to busy it up as you can see here and kind of uh, distorts all the the alien heads and that's one of the reasons why i mean enchi and huffman i think don't mix very very well um huffman kind of tends to get overpowered but this is not a typical pastel enchi and i've produced pastel enchis in the past they look more banded now this one has some banding but if you look at that these alien i mean this highlights coming down from the belly Sorry about that. I think uh, we got we got cut. Um, with pastel enchis, typically those those belly belly uh, clouding is not there. If you look at it, this is a, a little bit more busy pattern. Uh, the only no reason why I can I can tell 100% that this is enchi is the butterfly uh, on the head. Pastel enchis typically have that butter butterfly head stamp on the head, that kind of shape, and since. The male is is a act like super. It has to have one or the other. So Huffman or Cinnamon. And it's got to be a Huffman because Cinnamon is going to be much darker than what this uh, this girl looks like. Um, so it has to be a Huffman combo. So there you go. So this is a three gene female. Pastel and G Huffman. Amazing highlights on the side. So all right, let me go ahead and go over the last two. The last two are very similar. Actually, I, I would say even identical, but um, these two are pewters and pewters are pastel cinnamon. So this is why the reason why I said that the other one is a Huffman, not a cinnamon, because cinnamons tend to come out with pastel, tend to come out a little bit more silver, silver in color. So the, these guys are super busy in pattern. I don't think these ones have enchi because if it did, it would be, it would be a slightly banded and also the, the eye stripe will be a little different. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, but I would, I'm just gonna call these ones pewters, pastel, uh, cinnamon. And uh, I didn't really hit on a lot of enchis, only one combo. So, which was really the. My goal was to produce a little bit more enchi combos, but there's only one. But you can see, very similar in in pattern and, and color. They have that silver, almost a xantic look to them. But they do change in color uh, as they get older. A couple of sheds, they'll tend to brown or tan out a little bit, get actually brighter uh, or lighter, fade out in color. Uh, it's not gonna be as uh, contrasting as this where it's almost like, you know, silver, black and silver, white. Look at that head. So these, these two, these two girls are pretty. I actually am digging it. So 
I'll let these uh, girls kind of uh, grow a little, a little bit. Um, at least I'm going to keep one of them and um, see how they, they color up and change because they do tend to color, um, they tend to change drastically in color as they age. So, But yeah, this is the clutch. Let me go ahead and pull the rest of them back so you guys can see. So this is the mystery that we've solved. So it's really important, guys, recommend, recommendation. If you guys are pairing, make sure you write them down so then you less headache for yourself. I'm not sure why, what happened, but uh, when I started her back in October, I figured it was way, way far enough because I've never introduced that particular male again to her. Um, I've always just uh, introduced the, the male that I wanted to actually um, breed to her, which is the Crystal Enchi to make some Super Enchis. But, you know, she didn't want those sperm. She wanted uh, uh, the siren one. So here we go. That's what we ended up having. So here you go, guys. If you guys have any questions regarding allelic genes or, you know, act like super or super forms, uh, definitely uh, comment below or direct message me on any of my social media links. It's all in the description. Uh, if you guys have uh, any questions on the availability, do the same thing, comment or just message me. Uh, social media links are always going to be faster for me to respond. Sometimes YouTube doesn't update right away in comments. And uh, so you, we can do a one-on-one -on -one conversation regarding what's available and what's not. And if you guys have specific questions, it's much easier to communicate. But I wanted to just share with you guys and give you guys an update because I know uh, on the last video, the video that I did, egg cutting on this, I shared with you guys that I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update once I figured out who the sire is to this clutch of what they are so all right guys thanks for watching till next time